Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Kerbal Space Program. Thank you so much for the support on the last video about the 1 0.18 update and welcome all the new subscribers. And so this episode we are going to tackle something new in 0.18 which is docking. And so you'll see after I finish deleting all these that I currently have a uh, spacecraft Kerbal X uh, orbiting around the Kerf. Look at it. Uh, it's a simple spacecraft, has an engine, a bit of fuel left. Um, it has a uh, docking port, the protected one, so I can do open shield, and now it will be ready for docking. But we don't need that quite yet, so let's close that. It has some RCS, and other than that, uh, it's just floating out there. So we can go back to the space center. And what we want to do is build a spacecraft that will get us up there. And so basically what I've done is I've loaded the stock Kerbal X and then made some changes to it, namely adding the RCS and stuff like that. And so now what we need to do is go ahead and launch it. So, alright. So now we've loaded up. Now the thing is, since this is at a high orbit, it is about uh, 200,000 meters, we want to be behind it. Because when you're in a closer orbit around the curve, you move faster. And so, if we're going to be in a lower orbit than it, and then we're going to be moving faster. And in order to dock, we need to be catching up to it. So it needs to be ahead of us. So we can go ahead and speed up time. Okay, now it is getting ahead of us, so right about there. Now that it's ahead of us, we are good to launch, so you can go ahead and carry out this like any other uh, normal launch. So we can go ahead and detach from the stabilizers. And so this, if you haven't seen it, how it works is you have some of these smaller fuel tanks that feed into all the other ones and one by one sets of two of these outer ones uh, they detach and so after that you'll just be left with this center core and then after that I have the identical uh, spacecraft to this Kerbal X and so there we go jettison that one and let's do a gravity turn turn a bit this way Alright, I think I'll hold it about there, at least for now. So you can also see all the different things that have been added in with point one eight. that we have different categories, categorizations for trash or anything. So unknown, 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 kind of weird, I'm not sure what's going on there with the naming program or process. Um, then we have a whole bunch of trash, and this is from an experiment I was doing. You can see that I have just tons of it stuck in a polar orbit in this one band. And unfortunately, is I can't really get rid of that. I could end up capping the space debris, but I kind of don't want to do that, so whatever. Okay, let's just in those. Let's tilt this back up again. Again, that was a bit much of a gravity turn. Alright, and so I'm going to go ahead and skip until we are in a stable orbit. Alright, decoupling the last stage. Alright, we are now in orbit, so periapsis 90,000, uh, apoapsis 117, so not a perfect orbit, but it doesn't matter. So the next thing that we're going to want to do in order to rendezvous with the Kerbal X of our spacecraft is first set it as our target. Now we can see the ascending node and the descending node. And so what we're going to, going, what we're going to want to do is add a maneuver which is going to intercept the other course so we just need to add prograde and as we can see it is now showing that we are intersecting the course of the other orbit so I'll explain what this means intersect these are when the two orbits meet intersect one intersect two the two different times when it intersects target position at intersect so basically when we are here the target the Kerbal X spacecraft will be over here. So what we're going to want to do is try and shift this maneuver around to see if we can get these any closer together, which it does not seem like they're getting much closer together. Maybe if we add a little bit more here, move it. Okay, it's starting to get closer over here. So keep on moving this up. Okay, that's getting closer. That's good. 
and as we can see that we have gotten it fairly close, around 8.7 kilometers. So let's see if I can fine tune this a bit more. Alright, it seems to be best about there. Okay, nope. Alright, so it looks like the best time to burn is going to be right here. And so now we're going to uh, want to go ahead and do that maneuver. So let's find where the blue mark is. Let's tilt around. Here we go. Here's the blue mark. And now if we attach to this, as we spin, as we naturally rotate around the Earth, it's hard to explain, but this will be the right position that we'll need to burn at that point. So we can go ahead and speed up. And as you can see, we're following the blue mark still. All right. Starting to get close. Okay. 10 times speed, and alright, now we're getting close, so let's make sure we're tilted perfectly at the mark, and let's start our burn. Oop, I burned too far. And so now what we have to do is, wait, alright, let's just burn this way a little bit, about 21 meters per second. I didn't uh, realize that we didn't actually have to burn as much, because I was not paying attention. Alright, so let's tilt to, towards the blue mark and burn for a bit. Alright, doesn't look like it really did cause many problems. So let's go ahead and cancel that. So now we can see our intersect, 17.7 .7 miles, which isn't as close as 8, but it is fine. So now what we want to do is go ahead and go to that. And as we get closer to the uh, target, you'll see that suddenly we just switched to target. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the closest point, so it's going to be right about here, and now we want to zero out our speed, make our speed zero, and what we normally do to slow ourselves down is uh, burn retrograde, and that's exactly what we have to do here. Instead of showing where our orbit's going, this is showing relative to this where we're going. So now we're going to want to start burning, so it's slowing down, all right? So now we have almost zeroed out our speed. Now you'll see through the ridicule, you can see our spacecraft, and this p pink ridicule, if we point towards it, we want to burn just a little bit. Let's say that we want to burn uh, to 10. Now what we want to do is turn on our RCS and make it so we are tilted. Uh, we'll, we'll wait to do that later on. So now what we want to do is make our yellow circle going as close to the pink circle as we can. So let's go over here. All right. There we go. So that is good. Now if we go ahead and turn SS on, go back to the map, we'll see that we have another intersect, 21.9 kilometers. And as you can see, we're getting closer to the orbit of our target through that one maneuver. So now we're gonna wanna go ahead and go to the next point. All right, so we're getting close, and we're going to want to do the same thing. We're going to want to zero out our speed to the target, which is less than last time. So let's tilt retrograde, like so. And now we want to zero out our speed. So 21, 10, 9, 8, 7, okay. So now we've almost zeroed, zeroed out our speed. So now what we want to do is burn towards the target once again. As you can see, we're tilted at it. So now we want to burn. And we want to make sure that we are going towards the target. Uh, let's make the yellow ridicule, ridicule fixed again. All right, down a bit. Good. Now we will see that our next one is we're getting closer and closer to the uh, inner the orbit of our target. So now we want to go ahead and skip to the next one. And do the same exact thing. All right, getting closer. All right. So I'm gonna skip ahead until I've done this several times. All right. So I'm back, and I've made our intersect within 0.0, .0 kilometers. So it is pretty close. And so now we are going to want to zero out, zero out our speed about once more. So this is going to be a very short burn. All right, getting ready, and begin burn, and something just exploded, because we, in fact, collided with the, 
with the Kerbal X because we were getting so close. So let's open our shield because we can still salvage this mission. So let's switch to, let's go over here. So we want to head towards it. We can use our RCS to burn. So let's slow down our speed by tilting here. Oop. All right, so let's tilt here. Oops. All right, let's slow down our speed to about 0, 0.0. Let's slow down our speed. Let's get rid of our speed. All right, I'm having trouble with this. All right, uh, 1.654321. All right, so now we are slowly heading towards our target. So if we pl press uh, one of the semicolon keys, we can switch between our spacecrafts fairly quickly. So now let's open our own hatch and not control from here but that doesn't really matter unless you're having something attached to the side so now let's tilt towards our target over here all right move up a bit all right here so now what we want to do is since we're zeroed in we want to switch back to the other target and okay now we don't want to use our rcs unless we have to uh, because it does make a huge difference in orbit Okay, so let's hold it about there. Um, now we can use the RCS to fine-tune our movements towards the Kerbal X spacecraft. So let's speed up just a little bit. 0.5, that seems about right. Alright, and it looks like it is still tilted towards us for the most part. Uh, let's go back to it. Click on the other spacecraft. Yes, it is. So let's go back to this one. And now it's just a matter of making sure that you did it right. Alright. Trying to get back in. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little. Alright. So we're starting to get closer. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94. You can see it counting down. Okay. So now I'm just using the... Um, I, J, K, L keys to fine tune it. Alright, we're starting to get close. Let's readjust a little bit. Alright, let's switch to the other craft. Make sure we're tilted towards it. And right here, this is just a matter of switching back and forth between them, making sure they're both ready. Okay, this one is open. Uh, let's switch back to the other one. Alright. So I'm going to just continue doing this. When I get closer, I'm going to come back. All right, so now we're starting to get really close. And so I've switched between both of them and made sure that we are on target, which is good. We are having a good approach. We are going about 0.3. And so now we just want to speed it up a little. All right, keep on going. Now we're getting close, switch back to the other one, targets, we are still good with this one, go back, target this one, okay, now we want to make a final bit of adjustments, alright, so now what you'll find is that these have a magnetic attraction, as soon as you get close, because they're both open, so right here, they both attached, and that is how you successfully dock. And now a couple other cool features about docking is that if you press um, Alt, click on a fuel tank of one's type, so let's go with this, right click, and now let's right click on this one, we can transfer, so let's say we want to transfer all of our fuel into this one, or out of this one, and you can see that we can pass that back and forth, and you can also, uh, Alt, Alt. We can transfer electric charge in and out. And so, yes, I hope that you liked it. If this was helpful to you with your own space program, remember to like, comment, subscribe for more help and stuff like this. Leave suggestions about what else you want to learn about or that you think would be cool to watch. And Flaming Apple out.